Welcome back to the show, everyone, in the kitchen with Alison Davis from Wild Time. And I can see creamy cashew butter, which is one of my favorites. And just before we started, I grabbed a, a date. I was going to say a prune then and ate it, the whole thing. Did you eat the pit too? Uh, no, I, I didn't realize <laughs> there was a pit in it until it was in the mouth. And then I said to the camera, one of our camera guys, I went, oh, there's a big um, pit stone in yeah. it. So we're actually I making have, um, <laughs> we're making guiltless chocolate milkshakes today. They're only guiltless if you don't crack a tooth on the stone. <laughs> well, you take the pits out of your dates, but I we're using. I thought you would have had that already done. No, I'm showing them how you do it. So you actually have uh, dates, and we have cashew butter, almond milk cocoa powder oh, and milk. bananas yes oh, okay. so you can feel guilt-free when you drink this because it's all the good fats it's all the like just healthy options but I'm telling you when all this comes together you would yeah. think you were drinking the most decadent do you want me to milkshake. help you do that so yeah I'm just splitting the dates open and oh, just taking okay. the pits right out you, of them. you slice and dice and I'll okay. peel because I, I know that's a mighty big knife and I'm going to a little cut intimidated I had a chef friend that came over um, and did a class and he said you know is this much for uh, slicing and cutting and is that much for intimidation right that's what a knife is for sounds like the story of my life people <laughs> All right, so we're just pitting the dates, and then we're just going to use, I'm using a Vitamix today, and we're going to yeah. uh, mix this up so that we can get it really smooth and um, also I, get the bananas mixed in there. Can so, I just say, I know we're making a smoothie or a drink. It's a smoothie. Okay. I have to say, dates are one of my favorite fruits. Really? Is it because of, it's so much sugar in them? Yeah, it's a natural yeah, sweetener. It is, it is very like oh, rich and sweet. A I lot of people, them. though, don't like them by themselves, but they're amazing incorporated into Can, smoothies and milkshakes uh, because uh, they bring so much sweetness. The sweetness. best reason? Fill it with blue cheese and wrap it in bacon. Okay. Well, that I'm, is gorgeous. The other way that I've done this is kind of did a deconstructed bowl of this smoothie and had it almost like ice cream with like bits of bananas oh, with nice. the cashew butter with chopped up dates and did like a little bit of like coconut cream. Why haven't we made that before? Well, we'll have to do that some Yum. other time. But Yum. we're um, going to make this smoothie because I All cannot right. wait to drink it. Do you I need one or two take, um, when my bananas are starting to get a little bit uh, ripe, I will take them and put them in the freezer and yeah. so you can save them you. because the bananas actually get yeah. sweeter the longer My that they kind of sit too. out. But she used to do it for banana bread. Yeah. So she would be on special at the supermarket. She'd buy a case of it. Yeah. We're from a big Italian family, so a lot of banana bread getting made. And um, she would freeze the bananas and then have a baking day yeah. and that'd all be ready. Yeah. But I used to always think that she was so tacky having these brown, brown bananas, bananas everywhere. But yeah, <laughs> it's they're so I much sweeter. Know. They're so much sweeter yeah. when they're brown. All right, so we've got the bananas going in, then our dates. I'm using unsweetened cocoa powder, or you could also yeah. use cacao. Um, maybe just one or two tablespoons. Spoons, um, just to bring that nice like chocolate flavor in there. Ooh, nice. Then the richness comes in with our yeah. cashew butter, this creamy rich cashew butter. Yeah. Um, you can it. make your own, but honestly, like I don't know that I could get it this smooth. So oh, who could be bothered? Making your own when you just go to the supermarket and get it like that. Yeah. Because you know why? And you I can could, find good specials. You know why? Because I would be sitting at home. Eating the whole thing. Watching Netflix. You know, just eating. <laughs> so the almond milk is going in. You could also, if you didn't want the milk as much, you could probably uh, go half and half almond milk coconut water if you wanted. Um, but I'm just going with straight almond milk. Yeah. And then we are going to start I did. I, I would out. go full strength almond milk. You're right. Yeah, and you could go vanilla, I guess, but I do the unsweetened almond milk because yeah. there's enough sugar and sweetness coming from the dates and the bananas. That's right. All right. So we'll start to mix this up. Yeah. We'll start to mix it up, and if it's a little too thick, then we'll just keep adding a little oh, bit more almond, almond milk, milk to just smooth it. it out. So I'm okay. going to do that, and yeah. then we're going to fill this up. And I got you a cute okay. little straw, oh. um, so we can just drink and cheers. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. If you want to find out more information, head over to the website. You can see it all on the screen now, or of course you can head over to Allison's website at wildtimecooking.com. All the recipes are there as well on your YouTube page and yeah. Facebook Instagram and Instagram. And all it that is fun all stuff. there. We appreciate you. We're going to get eating and drinking this. Back after this short break, everyone.